Hello, my name is Metin Arabashir. This is 288th part of explanation of my theory. Some of experimental proofs of non-relativistic and relativistic new theory of mine and isotropy and variable velocity of light relation. Anisotropy and variable velocity of light relation, etc. Yes. According to my theory and my formulas, during during my explanation, I will show these experimental experimental proofs of some of experimental proofs of my theory one by one when appropriate. Okay. Because of today, my time is limited. There are countless proofs, experimental observation proofs. Okay. Yes. For my theory. First one, first evidence. One of obvious evidence proofs of my theory is that the energy wavelength this is in motion electron motion form. Okay. Short shortly you can say it is electron. Okay. One of obvious evidence proofs of my theory is that the energy wavelength mass angular momentum etc of x rays here we only say energy wavelength of x rays changes depending on the amount of electron acceleration quantity this is electron motion four. It is in motion in this direction, zero degree direction, and each point inseparable photon. I named, I defined. Okay. And when an electron motion form is in motion, on each point its mass, wavelength, wave velocity, okay, energy change. This is what? Anisotropically change. Okay. Here a data. Common data. Most common data. Okay. When we apply 5 kilovolts, this is Intensity, energy, wavelength graph. Here, one with ten kilovolt. Okay. This is new graph. When we apply electron fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Okay. Same characteristic shape. Continuous spectrum, shape, pattern, but as electron motion form velocity increase by the effect of applied voltage, wavelength and energy changes. But in accepted physics, they don't discern that this is an isotropy. This is only one electron motion forms graph. And this spike characteristic lines, different subject. Okay, here when we increase the voltages, its wavelength will be smaller in C direction. Like this, shortest shortened wavelength. Remember. Okay. 
One of obvious evidence of my theory is that the energy wavelength etc. of X-rays changes depending on the amount of electron acceleration quantity. This means depending on source velocity because electrons are the sources of all kinds of light according to my theory and naturally X-rays. Accepted physics theories couldn't realize the results of these experiments and observations at their fingertips. From X-ray plots to black body radiation and CMBRs, cosmic microwave, cosmic microwave background radiation plots, these observational and experimental results provide evidence for my theory and refute existing theories in accepted physics. The fact that the intensity, energy and wavelength of X-rays vary depending on the accelerating amount like this, 5 ki kilovolts here, 10 kilovolts here, closer to zero, closer to zero wavelength, okay? This is main reason, this is my theoretical picture, okay? The fact that the, fact that the intensity, energy and the wavelength of X-rays vary depending on the accelerating amount of the electron depending on electron's velocity, that means. As we see an, in X-rays intensity wavelength graphs, this is one of the obvious proofs of my theory. For 5 kilovolts here, for 10 kilovolts here, for 15 here, and I have a formula shortest shortened wavelength formula if you remember from my former my previous videos yes here it is obvious that the electron is the source of light like here x-rays so contrary to the theory of relativity it follows that the speed of light varies depending on the velocity of the source yes Wait a moment, please. Would the regular continuous spectrum chart Would the regular continuous spectrum chart change, emerge here? Would the regular continuous spectrum chart change, emerge here? If they were photon particles thrown by electrons as their sources and hosts whose speeds were constant and independent of electrons' speeds? The answer is no. Would, the, would these continuous spectrum charts changes emerge here if they were photon particles thrown by electrons as their sources and whose speeds were constant and independent of electron speeds? The answer is no. You cannot show the Doppler effect as the cause here either, because when you talk about this, you have to accept that light depends on the speed of its source. If energies of photons thrown from the electrons increases as the speeds of electrons increases, and if their wavelengths narrow in the same way, why shouldn't their speeds also depend on the speeds of electrons? Bram Strahlung idea of accepted physics theories contradicts with the phenomenon. Bram Strahlung break breaking the electron decelerating the electron by the effect of nucleus of an atom then as it loses energy loses photon gain and energy photon emerge and electron decelerating electron throw it they say this is wrong Bram Strahlung 
Bram Stahlum idea try to explain continuous spectrums. But according to me, continuum spe continuous spectrums sources are not bound, not atom bound electron motion form, not proton bound electron motion form, free electron motion form. Here in this subject, I am talking about free electron motion forms in motion. Okay. In motion, moving free electron motion forms make these graphs relatively their velocity, motion direction, etc., orientation, etc. Yes, Bram Strahlung idea of accepted physics theories contradicts with the phenomenon. According to accepted physics theories, when a moving electron with a certain initial energy value starts to decelerate by some effects, it emits a photon with energy value as the decelerating electron loses, lost. But as I told you before, this is not the case according to my theory and my formulas as accelerating by a higher electric, electric potential value, the electron gains higher energy, like this, and moves faster than before, faster, faster. If you apply 5, here, if you, if you apply 10, faster, if you apply 15 kilovolts, more faster, so on, so forth. And its waves, wavelength shortens, 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 according to my theory, shortens in zero degree motion direction, opposite direction, expands, be larger, yes, here, Here, and its waves wavelength shortens at the shortest level in the motion direction of electron zero degree. Here, an inseparable, inseparable imaginary point of the surface of electron that I named the photon will have the same amount energy. This is electron's energy. This is photon energy. Why? Electron energy total with it, but here conventionally, up to now, we don't measure the energy of the electron completely by confining it in a sensor sphere. We measure electron energy by means of interacting with a point photon on it. Eventually, you cannot explain the intensity energy wavelength charge change by accelerating the electrons with the Bramstrom, Bramstrom idea. You cannot explain with Bramstrom idea these continuous spectrums. Two, second evidence. One way to prove my theory that the mass, energy, etc. of the moving electron and its waves change and they are variable depending on the velocity, direction of motion and orientation of the moving electron would be would be to look at whether the energy mass wave velocity wavelength etc of moving electron and its waves are anisotropic again one way to prove my theory that the mass energy of the moving electron and its waves change, and they are variable depending on the velocity, direction of motion, and orientation of the moving electron, would be to look at whether the energy mass wave velocity 
wavelength, etc., of the moving electron, and its waves are anisotropic. Depend depending on direction of motion here. Here the electron is free electron motion form. One way to prove is understanding free electron motion forms motion and its results and isotropic or not. Okay. One of the most important ideas I put forward in my theory was that the speed of light varies depending on the speed, direction and orientation of its source. My conclusion was that the speed of light was not constant and this was an opposing idea to the theory of relativity which was accepted as valid in physics. It was not only the speed of light that varied with the 